I had a lot of inspirations, but I had to edit down those inspirations to make uh, to fit onto our stage, right? Because the flooring, right, is all doesn't change. The flooring is always there, so it has to be neutral enough that it works in every location. It became uh, sort of this weathered wood treatment that uh, I kind of was inspired by old barns that have a lot of age and weather to them. And you see layers of history on there, right? Like like layers of paint that have peeled off, and and you see like the the, the grittiness underneath that kind of uh, to reflect the history and age of, of Edward's life, right? So there's some of that blended into the world. Uh, there's also this hourglass sort of shape that may or may not sort of read in the, the shape of the decking that divides our downstage and upstage worlds. We kind of uh, are, are following this concept of uh, keeping the, the real life uh, stuff downstage and then bl blurring that into this uh, imagination sort of world of Edward's upstage. I don't think I have a favorite element. I, there's so many pieces that have to work together. The set is really counting on a lot of uh, projection and lighting work, and costuming and, uh, and audio and, and music all to work together with this, right? So there's, there's uh, elements built into the set like gauze and, and trans acoustically transparent materials, right? Like the lattice work and that, that allow us to get uh, audio from backstage, right? If people are singing off stage, uh, to bring that forward without interfering with that, but also to uh, to help uh, work with the lighting effects, right? So we're gonna have some shadow puppet type uh, elements happening and, and projection happening on the front of those surfaces too. So I can't really say I have one favorite element. There's a lot of surprises that we're trying to pack into the set. So maybe it's just the multi. So many locations. There's, it, you know, this was written as a movie, right? It's, it, there's so many locations, it, it's challenging to figure out how do you pull all that off and give it the, uh, uh, and fulfill these uh, cinematic expectations, right? That an audience coming in uh, to any musical now, you know, their, their expectations are just so over the top. That goes back to all these different elements that, that come together to help pull it off, all the costuming and props and lighting and projections and atmospheric effects.